All right. Uh, stay on with us, Deepak. We'll come back to you in just a bit. Quickly, need to dip into this very concerning piece of news coming in with regards to an earthquake that's been reported uh, in the northwest of Wellington in New Zealand. A 6.1 magnitude earthquake on Richter scale that's been reported from New Zealand. Now, this is certainly concerning given that very recently, this Monday itself, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake had hit the uh, Kameric Islands in New Zealand itself. So this becomes the second such earthquake in, in a matter of days that's now hit the country. Let me go across to Rishabh joining us with more details. Uh, 6.1 magnitude, highly concerning. Anything that we've picked up so far with regards to the damage on ground, Rishabh? So what we know right now that the earthquake is confirmed uh, by the seismic data. Uh, the preliminary info suggests that magnitude of 6.1 earthquake has uh, hit New Zealand and the epicenter is 78 kilometer northwest of Lower Hutt. Lower Hutt, remember, is the area in New Zealand to Wellington. So, uh, and Wellington happens to be one of the most populous city of uh, New Zealand. So, as of now, the damage has not been assessed by the authorities and we'll have to wait for further information about that. But 6.1 for an island like New Zealand looks difficult and uh, we'll have to wait to understand and access to how and what the damage is looking like. So for now, 6.1, uh, you know, magnitude on Richter scale uh, is the magnitude that we know of earthquake. This has happened in Lower Hutt area, which is very close to Wellington City of New Zealand. Okay, all right. And as I was pointing out very recently, this Monday itself, uh, uh, an earthquake with magnitude 6.1 and hit the uh, Kamaric Islands in New Zealand itself. Uh, and that took place uh, uh, wherein the epicenter was with a depth of uh, 374.033 kilometers. Uh, so that's the latest we're tracking with regards to another uh, sh shock that has been witnessed, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake that's hit New Zealand. Remember all of this coming at a time that we are seeing how the death toll in a quake hit Turkey and Syria also continues to mount. It's crossed uh, over 34,000. So very, very concerning what we're witnessing worldwide. Thank you, Risha, for joining us with those details. We quickly shift our focus to another news that